How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video with me and the Zan. I am actually bringing a... Uh, something I haven't done in a long time. And I'm looking at my previous video of the Risk of Rain 2 loader challenge of getting this alternate skill. And I was like, this is way outdated and people are still watching it. There's over 25,000 likes, uh, not likes, views on it. And people are still looking for it. So... Why don't I make another video uh, in order to show the updated version? Because the previous video uh, shows the challenge where it was completed before they updated the fifth stage onto into the game. And the challenge itself didn't change. You still have to reach the portal uh, within 25 minutes or less. Um, so I'm going to show you a rainstorm video where we're speed running with loader through the, to the celestial portal. Let's get into it. We're going to use the loader's basic kit. Not use any special abilities here. We'll keep the mastery skin on just for the fun of it. And we'll do it with the expansion as well. So let's take a look. It's been a while since I played loader in general too. I'm not really a loader player. But we gotta, what we want to do when doing this challenge is locate the Celestial Portal as soon as possible. Not the Celestial Portal, the Teleporters. We want to activate it because Loader already has amazing base damage. And we want to just do what we can to do the damage that we need to do. And get the portal activated. This is not to say that you are going to immediately go to the Teleporter without an item. But you don't really need items. On loader for stage one. See how we're still under a minute? Alright, we're gonna swing. Gonna charge up our fist. Punch down. Of course, we don't have any movement speed items. We don't have anything to really give us power. But Loader has a lot of resistances. And there we go. Alright, so Ignition Tank. Something that we don't really want, but... We'll go and look for an item or two. Before we move on. You don't want to ignore items in general, but... It's always good to at least move on as quickly as possible. I missed him. Alright, 91%. I'm thinking that we definitely need to prioritize crowbars so that we can burn enemies as quickly as possible. I was trying to pick up that equipment barrel. Radar scanner. That'll help us find items. Okay. I'm really forgetting how slow Loader is. Especially with no attack speed, no charge power. I don't even have any gold for this. Alright, we're not going to waste our time here. That equipment barrel was not the best one either. Getting a radar scanner. If I knew that I was getting a radar scanner, I probably wouldn't have picked that up. But that's the beauty of luck-based games. Ooh, a mountain shrine. I don't think we want to do that because we are only looking to get to the Celestial Portal as fast as possible. The mountain shrine will only slow us down. Let's use our radar scanner, see what's around. Loader has a lot of health, so it's good to use um, the shrine. Oh, nice. over here. Ooh, a red whip could help us get around faster. They're already so slow. Also help us with our uh, speed of our punch because we're having more movement speed to launch ourselves out.
Apparently using the grappling hook is combat related, which is unfortunate to see. That's okay. Beetle Queen. Ooh, I missed that. Alright, let's not uh, do any combat actions for a few seconds. Get our red whip going. I didn't have a good angle there. I'm telling you, I don't play Loda that often. That was a good launch. A little bit better there. One thing that we could definitely utilize is the ukulele if we do receive that. Another red whip. Hmm. Any chests nearby? An equipment barrel up here. Milky Chrysalis? No thanks. Two utility chests? These could maybe help. If I can hit them. Mocha and repulsion plating. That's good. Bit of attack speed and movement speed along with damage reduction. Alright, so we're five minutes in. We need to speed this up. We probably will need to ignore the next uh, available portal. If we happen to run into like a void cradle, which I see ahead of us, like if it's on the path of the teleporter, then great. If not, we gotta skip it. Our item, our item choices are a little unlucky right now. That's okay. I see a void cradle over here. Let's take advantage of it. Weeping fungus. What items are in here? Is that a sticky bomb? Not worth. Well, at least be able to heal while sprinting. Ooh, this is gonna be painful. We did get a good starting hit. Let's let him get up in the air. The problem with the Clay Dune Strider is that he's going to be absorbing health from enemies as well as me, so he's going to be healing significantly. What I probably need to do is charge my punch, then grapple. That might be the better option here. That was a good hit there. All right, he is going to start absorbing though. Yeah, that's really bad. Huge hit. Probably gonna fall off the stage here, but that's okay. Nice. All right, we're getting a better handle on this. Squid polyp, really? Ugh. Is that a chest? That is a chest. 
Please at least be a green. Probably not though. Oh, it is a green. Another squid polyp? Okay, this game's trolling me. This game's actually trolling me. Let's move on. At least they can help us get items. Uh, because we'll be, not help us get items, but get gold, because we're, they're going to be hitting enemies for us. We just need to find things that are, oh. Unfortunately, we don't, can't take the time to do the secret boss here. We're not going to use the radar scanner to find a teleporter. Teleporter? Hello? Did I just miss it? Hmm. And give me a second. My PC decided to have a small technical snafu there. I'm trying to kill this healing bird. Or mending bird. There we go. We can get that offensive item. Oh, it's up there. Okay, I see it. Once we grab this, then we're going to go for the portal. Please do something good. Please do something good. Piggy bomb. We'll take it. Now, being up here is going to be a bit of a pain because... Oh, great. We're going to be launching ourselves back and forth. But at least we have capability of getting up on a high ground here. And thankfully we don't take any fall damage. Might as well just fall off the stage here and get back up. Okay, very close, very close. Nice. It's dead. What's our item? Let's see what the lucky item is. Is that a rose buckler? My goodness, we're just never gonna die, right? Maybe it is lucky in a way to have these items, but also really annoying. Oh, too far out. I'll take a gunner turret just for the spawn. At least these enemies aren't doing that much damage to us at this stage. Now, I don't know if anybody, any of you in the comments have completed this challenge on Monsoon. If you have done so, feel free to let me know. Uh, just in general, let me know which uh, difficulty you completed this on. No judgment. I think last time I did it, I did it on Rainstorm as well. Five percent left. I think we can manage to get through. It's going to get a little harder to uh, kill the bosses as fast as I am now. I'm hoping that I can find another void item to help us get through. Right, so we're all the way over here. Radar scanner. There's a teleporter. What's this over here? Berserkus pauldron. I don't utilize that well enough. I don't, it's like, even though I like using the left click on close by enemies, we're probably only going to be using our shift punch. What's this? Med kit. Don't need that. If you can find like a, a green printer that's like missiles or ukulele, that'd be better. 
lost seer lenses. I mean, our right, our um, R can potentially one-shot enemies for us. Where's the teleporter? Oh, I passed it. Another mocha. It's a green shop over there. We gotta hit this so we can get this uh, portal. There's a lot of enemies here. And a XI construct to fight. Alright, we got our first big punch off. Nice. Ooh, okay. I got knocked off. We're back up on the main stage. That's good. Lots of enemies around here, but the XI construct is up there. Just keep running, get a little bit of distance. Let's shoot our way up here. We need to punch a construct for a little bit. Nice, it's bringing us down a little bit. When you're spinning around like that too, you tend to get a, a little bit more movement speed. We're also gaining a lot of shields here. There's a lightning enemy I gotta be careful of. Oh boy. I'm flying. I don't think my loss here lens procced as yet. Oh, it's just a lightning whisk. It's no big deal. I have 10 minutes before... Before we have to reach the Celestial Portal. So, after this, it'll be two more stages. Ooh, that's a really far place that we did not want to be. Okay, my keyboard. I might need to unplug my keyboard. Yep, give me just one second. I've been having problems with my keyboard lately. And it's a slightly, not a slightly, but it's a fairly new one. I got it Christmas. Where's the construct? Where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. I see the arrow. This is bad. Our health is very, very low. We just need to heal. We're almost there. Thankfully, we have the Weeping Fungus. We have Repulsion Armor Plating. Get a little bit of shield to help us out. It looks like we do two different hits. Okay, we're not even in range for him. We don't have enough healing. Maybe we did need that med kit. little annoying that he's just hiding all the way up here. This thing might cost us the run. Thank goodness. We need to hit that as soon as possible here. Rinald's band is huge. And a wax quail gives us more mobility. Let's get out of here. So the Rinald's band is going to give us a significant uh, amount of damage on our punches. 
that's actually such a depressing stage right there. We have to find the teleporter and kill the boss as soon as possible and just stay in there and let it charge. Is the teleporter in that little room back there? I might have lost the range. There it is, okay. Alright, big damage, big damage to start. We're gonna wait three seconds for our Knowledge Band to come back. I'm gonna step back here. Punch. Big hit. Big hit. One Beetle Queen down. I think we hit another enemy instead of her. Huge. Very, very good. Oh, is that another squid polyp? No way. And an ignition tank that I don't even have a gasoline for. Unlucky run so far. Alright, I hope that we'll be able to make it. We'll probably want to, like, do, if we don't make it, I'll probably still upload this one and just uh, tie on a second video. Oh boy. 20 minutes on stage 7 now. I need 4 I have 4 minutes left. There it is. Is that a focus crit? Oh, it's gasoline printer. Let's get one at least. That should help. Alright, unfortunately, the Beetle Queens are now not next to each other. We've lit them on fire, at least. Hit the beetle guard instead of her. I haven't seen my uh, lost ear lens get a kill yet. Oh, there it is. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Where's that? I hate this thing. No way. Another squid polyp. This game's actually trolling me. Okay. Yeah, that was that was that was a horrible horrible run. We're going to try it again. Unlucky run into lucky run. Let's go. That focus crystal? Well, that's a lucky thing to find first. Alright, I see a golem over here. That's a horrible punch. Okay. 
Okay, so that thing's down. Sometimes rushing through doesn't get you the best results because you're missing out on something, but the game's also very tough when you're playing a loader against flying characters. The backup magazine can help us with grappling. Sticky bomb. And the opal. Don't need the opal. Nice, one shot. Uh, there's not enough enemies to consider sticking around waiting for a chest. Let's find a teleport and activate it. There's two chests out here and a shrine, so if we kill enough enemies here, then great. If not, oh well. Of course it has to be a wandering vagrant. A little bit of shield there. Almost done. A little bit. It's about to blow up. I gotta stand behind something. Okay. I'm alive. Gotta get back down there and keep charging the portal. Shipping a request. I mean, that gets us a free item without having to buy anything. Or spend any money. We'll just keep meleeing enemies so that we have a shield protecting us from the blind pests. Let's see what items we can pick up here. Pride tip dagger. Death mark. Nothing from the Shrine of Chance yet. Maybe again? Something? Rusted Key? Free item as well? We're getting punched, but it's okay. I think what we can do if we find the shop is get the Focus Convergence um, item for so that we can charge to teleport it faster. Because we're going to kill the boss fast outside of it anyway. It's just a matter of us surviving the enemies inside afterwards. So I didn't go for the Lunar Pod this time, but maybe next, uh, next stage we can find the Lunar Pod. Where are we going to be anyway? Wetland Aspect. I don't want to get a Soldier's Syringe. I just saw that right there. There it is. Okay. Did I make it? No. Overshot it just a little bit. Perfect. Now, if we re-roll and don't get anything, then we're not going to try it. Um, I don't want to lose all my Lunar Coins, but at least the time stops there. Um, free Sticky Bomb. I'm not going to run around looking for the rusted key, rusted chest. I need her to get her to bleed. Or I need a sticky bomb to hit her. But of course those chances are fairly low. Is that a Kiaros? Nice! Now we can have damage over time, hit after we get a massive uh, hit off.
Okay, I think I got hit by one of the brass contraption spikes. Gotta be careful with my HP here. Or the jellyfish that just got me. We leveled up, so we get a little bit more health. Stage 2 at 5 minutes, not the best. But at least you have a Kiara's Band to get us more damage for the next stage. And a Focus Crystal also amplifies us as well. Alright, Focus Convergence. No. No. There it is. Perfect. Anything else I can pick up here? That's cooldowns, right? Reduce your skills cooldowns by two seconds, you are unlucky. That's fine. I don't need luck, I just need my cooldown to be reduced. So this is going to uh, reduce the time that it takes for our teleporter to charge, which is huge. Because a lot of the time that we waste is basically on um, the teleporter event. We can get this repulsion armor plating. Fortunately, just lost our focus crystal. It's okay. We need to survive. Survival is key here. Alright, that's enough. Well, losing the sticky bomb is a little bit bad, too. Because we're burning through, that means... Because we're burning through, we're going to have less items to gather. Right, he's standing still there in it and burning. Let's get ourselves back in there, and he's dead. Great. Another Kiaro's band. Very good for damage. Now we just need to survive in here, which shouldn't be a big deal. You can see how fast the teleport is charging now. We can even use this uh, focus convergence to shave off uh, or to give us a little bit more time to get items that we would need. A lunar coin is always helpful. I don't think Shaped Glass would be a good item to get as well. I feel like that would be the little troll. Although... The double damage on Kiara's Band would be nice. With Delicate Watch. Because it's bonus damage. Let me just punch up here. Wasting a few seconds, unfortunately, doing that. But no problem, no problem. We still have 17 minutes. Or seven, less than 17 minutes in order to succeed this. Teleporter, 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 teleporter. I see it over there. Right in front of me. What am I fighting here? Soul's control unit? Ooh. Okay. That was kind of huge. What do we get now? A hoppy feather. Do 
can make the enemies fly into the Kiro's band. Need to punch some enemies for some shields. I'm taking lots of damage from the vultures right now. I need to be careful here. Alright, back in there. Focus Convergence. We should be able to survive this, right? There's some shields. Now I can just keep punching the Greater Wisp while inside the circle. We definitely should go and take advantage of the shipping request form as well next time, next stage. Try and find that. If it's not in our line of sight, you don't need to go for it. No problem, but... Oh, there it is. As I was saying. What's in here? Potential green. Old War Stealth Kit. That could save us a little bit of trouble. We don't have any healing items, but definitely getting the ability to hide on low health is nice. Mountain Shrine, not this time. We do see a Void Cradle, which can potentially help us here. Safer spaces, not bad. There it is. Jeff Destination. Oh boy. Not the grandparent. We're getting pushed around. It's gonna start creating the fucking sun on us. Just need to not be in visual sight of it. I just want to burn here. Okay, it, we're good. Cool. Grandparent down. Nice! Finally, I've received flat healing when attacked. That's huge. I want to kill this. See, even for the focus convergence, it helps because if we have to get out of the stage in order to prevent taking damage, it, it helps. Uh, because we're able to catch up on the time that we've lost. No, no, no. We move on to stage six. So when you want to complete this challenge, make sure that the portal is, um, oh, I missed that lunar coin. Make sure the portal is closed like that because you're not going to the moon. You're going back to the world. Everything hurts, everything hurts, everything hurts. At least we have money. One of the best things about speedrunning through... Um, speedrunning is that all the items that you're going for cost less because you're not spending so much money. Uh, you're not spending so much time on... How am I putting this? The, le the, the faster you're moving, the cheaper the items are because the... Cost scales with the time that you're spending. But 
Did I already get go past it? Or oh, it's back there. It's probably back there. What's this item here? Squid polyp. We're taking this instead. No squid polyps for me. 171. Probably don't have enough, so I'm just going to get this damage item instead. Yeah, 205 wouldn't have had enough for that chest. Right, tip dagger. I'm unlucky, though. Ah, crap. I hit a wisp instead. That beetle queen should be dead. Four seconds till the next Kiara band proc. I hit a beetle guard instead? Man, that's troll. Let me push through all these enemies here. There we go. And even with getting pushed around by lasers, I can still manage to survive. Because I have three uh, bot healing reduction. Critical strikes? I don't get criticals on this character. I guess it kind of works if I'm if my R manages to get the critical. But that's not even, like, a high chance. I only have an innate, like, 1% chance to crit. I believe that's what you start with. 1%. Lens makers each is 10%, and the Harvest of Sight and Predatory Instincts is 5%. But I currently have 6%. The Void have become curious. Oh, no. Not the Void! Okay, I got stuck on a rock. This is actually a little bit bad because if I'm stuck inside of an enemy that's about to explode, then I lose a run. There's going to be a void enemy to fight as well. A large chest here at least. Void Devastator. At least our Kiara band does a lot of damage. Three seconds. Keep in mind that your Kiara band also scales based on the amount of damage that you deal from your um, hits. So, the more damage you deal, the better the hit is uh, for the Kiara band. You want to charge that sucker up. I'm about to get rooted, aren't I? This newly hatched. Periodically recruit allies from the void corrupts all yellow items, so the planula got corrupted. That helps though, because then we have someone else to be to focus on. And void creatures are fairly fun to work with. These little turrets are annoying. At least we can get out of here. We're at 18 minutes. Stage 8 will probably be ending before 23 minutes, I believe. Now stage 8, where the Celestial Portal is. Let's see... Did it even say? Yes, yeah, Celestial Orb appears. Good. There's a teleporter. Activate! We don't really need to spend time getting any items here. Imp overlords are going to spawn on top of each other. 
We can punch them hard here. Get them both hit by the Kiara's band. Wait for that charge again. We can even give them time to come teleport on top of us. Whoa, where did they go? Did one just fly up? Oh, one got hit by... Oh, no! Okay. So, one thing to keep in mind is to not get hit by the... Uh, the slam. That they do. I forgot about that. One down. This is scary. They do a little bit more damage. Um, now that they are on stage eight. I'll have the Kiara band kill him. Perfect. And we'll use our R to get away from it. All right, our critical strike chance is not going to be active because of the purity. Forgot about that. Try and generate shields from hitting enemies. We can heal a little bit more. All right. Well, there you have it. Just got to finish out the stage, get to the Celestial Portal, and finish 425. So, sort of a lucky run, based on the fact that we got items that helped us out. Um, we didn't get to utilize many of them because of purity. But uh, getting the Kiara's Band was very helpful. So, if you manage to even utilize items that aren't even helpful to you, but still was able to take one and push through it loader. It, it works. I don't really agree that the um, challenge should be 25 minutes with the stage uh, 8 being involved. Or stage, uh, yeah, be, having it being stage 8 now. But it's just something that Hapu decided to keep as is. Um, I feel like it should be like 26, 27, 28 minutes. But it wouldn't be a challenge if you didn't even have it. I mean, like, I just did it right now on Brainstorm, and you can do it on Drizzle if you want. Um, if you do it on Monsoon, you're a little crazy, but I respect the grind. But we are 2138. Put ourselves in, obliterate ourselves from existence. Good run, guys. There we, it. There we have it. How much damage have you managed to do that run? 296,000 damage. Not one of the highest damage runs, considering what we typically get for items, but it was efficient enough. Um, we were able to take advantage of focus Convergence and Purity for lower cooldowns and the portal charging faster. So if you are doing this run and doing this challenge, I do highly recommend getting a focus Convergence as soon as possible. Get it from the shop if you have Lunar Coins to afford uh, the rerolls if you don't get it on the first drop. It, it definitely helps you out with getting to the challenge faster. Um, so, there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, yes, this was a two-run video. Um, the first one I thought was just funny to keep in. Um, didn't feel like editing it out. But if you enjoyed the video overall, feel free to throw a like. Subscribe if you want to follow for more content related to Roguelikes, League of Legends, or any other game. And we'll see you for the next video. Have a good one.